Okay guys, welcome back. In this video, we will be learning how to validate user entry on the forgot password or password reset screen. In this case, the first check is going to see if the whatever email the person enter in does it have the right format, meaning email name, at symbol, and the website name. So for example, it could be code with, that could be the name, at gmail.com. That's the first step. The second step is going to check to see, does that email exist in the database? If it does, then it's going to send an email to the person to say, hey, click on this link to reset the password, and then so on and so forth. All right, so let's test this out. The first check is checking to see if the email is right. So I'm just going to type in blah, 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 whatever. It says, hey, this is not a valid email. So now I'm going to type in the correct email, gmail.com. And then it's going to check to see if it exists. If it does exist, it's going to give it that message. However, if I go back now and then reset it, and then I'll type in two rather than one, and then it's going to say, hey, no email found. Great. And the reason why it's not doing anything right now because behind scenes it already reset the password uh, status if I refresh it now to reset. So if I make this active, if I can spell it. And if you guys are just joining in, this might be helpful. Go check out the other videos about different statuses. I will put the link in the description for you so you guys be all, all caught up. And there are three different statuses just to give you a recap. When person signs up, they're going to have a status of pending. When the person has uh, clicked on the link from their email, they have a status of active. And if the person has reset the password, it's going to have a, pass, uh, a reset. So just to show you, if I click on this now that I have the right email in the database, right now, uh, the status is active. If I click OK now, then it's going to change it to reset, as you saw. OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I have disabled, as I've said before in my one of my previous videos, the email functionality because just to speed up the process. So this is the link that they're going to get in their email. I'm going to click on this. Then it's going to go back in here. It's like, hey, by the way, now you can reset your password. Thank you very much. You're going to type it twice, once and twice. So I'll just type it in twice. And then just hit the enter key. And then, then it tells me, hey, your password has been changed. Click on it to log in. It takes me back to the login screen and then so on and so forth. All right, so let's look at the code behind. So if I go in here, now let's go to forgot password, JS. I'm going to close out other screens, of course, we already looked at those. I don't want to save it. All right, so at the top of it, the very first part is what enables <clears throat> persons to uh, hit the enter key and after they hit the enter key, it will take them to the validation process uh, of forgot password. So in other words, after I type in my email address, rather than me, just to show you, after I go in here, after I type in my email address, rather than me coming with my mouse and hitting, clicking on the pa forgot password, I could just hit enter key. And then it will activate it. The process of uh, validating the uh, password. And then you guys, if you want to do this, you can download the JS, um, not the JS, the Awesome Functions Library by going to awesomefunctions.com under the section of jQuery. And then there is the 
enter key functionality basically you just download uh, copy this part and paste it and it takes two parameter one is the the element that you're trying to initiate and then also has a callback you could do whatever you wanted to do so in this case i'm trying to initiate the password reset form class what i'm saying is every time if there's an input field called password a forgot password form if someone hits enter in that field then i want them to i want them to go to the process of validating which is almost like clicking forgot password button and then this is where it goes it grabs the forgot password reset field and then it checks to see hey is it empty if it is empty then it shows them an error message this should say uh, invalid enter an email then the next step is to check to see if the valid email address is what they typed in is it valid or not if it is valid then it goes and does the form data if you don't know what form data is please check out the previous video basically this is just like an object or uh, a JSON object that gets sent to the my 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 Ajax PHP all right and then from here we will we'll go to our PHP part of it which is right here call so if I go back in here this is the call type and this is what the call type value is. So I check to see if the call type is set first, and then check to see if the call type equal reset. And then it's gonna go uh, prevent, run it through a clean DB data, which will prevent any SQL injections, followed by, then it's gonna go to the database, check to see if the email address exists, if it does exist, it's going to grab all the different statuses, all the different fields rather, which is the status, email, ID, name, and code. If, however, it cannot find any records, it's going to throw an error message as you saw previously. It's like, hey, I can't find your email address. Or, or if it can find it, and if it has the status of active, then it's going to uh, update it to say reset and now what I will do is I will leave it up to you but if I were you I will put a uh, another two else if statements to check to see what the status is so for example if the stat uh, once it goes to the process and if the or originally is uh the status was active and you have reset it to uh reset if the person doesn't automatically goes and checks their email how should your code behave if it was my code i would want to check to see if the password uh, is reset the status is set to reset then i want to send them another email saying that hey click on the link Otherwise, your code will just break and it's going to be like, hey, I already reset it and this will not work. So I will leave it up to you to add another additional statement. Here's a else if the status is reset, send another email. And that's that. All right, so this is what this does. And after a person clicks on the email, then it will take them to the confirm page. Let me show you that, which you just saw. And then let me back up first. So this is the full URL that it gets. So this is the site URL and then confirm is the PHP. And then the, this is the variable that it will send them so in this case this particular variable has the value of code and what this code is basically in the database is the this long ass string of data all right and that's that
this is what this code is. And then I didn't add the email functionality before, like I said before, just to speed up the process. However, what you could do is you could just write a code that says mail and then send the email that way. And I won't go any further because I already explained that in the previous video. If you haven't looked at it, please check out the rest of the series. And I will put a link in the description for you to make it easy for you. All right, so let's move on. So once it gets to this particular uh, URL, the, the file, it will check to see if the reset variable is there. If it is there, then it's going to grab the value of it. And then it's going to say, hey, does this particular reset value equal whatever is in the database, first of all? Second of all, is the status equal reset? If it does, if it does not, rather, let's go with that first because that's what I have it. Then it's going to go say, hey, you don't have an account. Why don't you click here? And then next, if it does not, then it's go to the process of creating a form and then go to the validation as you saw before. So let's go through it. So we have, after someone clicks on the password reset button, typing in the new and then repeat password, it's gonna check to see if it's equal to, if the new password field is empty, if it's, it is empty, it's going to show them an error message. And, hey, enter your new password. If the repeat password is empty, it's going to send them, hey, enter the repeat. If they both do not match, this is going to show them a message saying, hey, they don't match. Please enter validated one. So just to show you, I will go in here and then type in, let's see. Then I'll click on this link comes in here so this is what I mean new password and then repeat it so if I go in here and just type into gibberish and then click on the change my password it's gonna say hey these two are different you need to enter the same one and then I'll type in one type in the password both of them to be same and then it's like hey it's already set now you can go log in with that new password so this is what's happening here all right so the call type in this case will be uh, update password and the value will be whatever the password is and then the email is getting grabbed from here where i'm checking to see if the code where they clicked on the email, it does exist or does not exist. So I'm just grabbing it right from the database. And then after that, I'm gonna go back in here because this is where it goes, as you will see right here, it goes to my PHP with these two values, three values. And then this is where it comes in with the call type is password, update password. Then it goes to check to see the email and then the password, then it hashes the password because that's how we are storing the password in the database. And then it checks to see if the email exists and then if the password status is to be reset. If it is, then I'm grabbing the name and if it's not, then it's gonna throw an error message, just an error. And I say email doesn't exist, but in this case, they will never see this because they, once they click on the email and then I'm grabbing the email from there. So they should never see that. I just have that just that precautionary. That's just me. And once it finds it, a record uh, from the up here, then it's going to go and update it and change the status to be active and then hash the new password, whatever that they pick on where the user email equals this. And then it's gonna show them a little message saying that, hey, your message updated. However, for some reason, if the update process didn't happen, it's gonna show them an error message, hey, something went wrong, try again. So it's not going to update it. However, if 
the update process right here was successful, then it's going to show them an email uh, a stat, uh, message saying that, hey, your password is updated, click on their login as you just saw previously. And if I go back now, then it goes to the process of checking to see if the er if there was an error, then display an error message, as you saw before, if the email didn't exist. Well, in this case, you didn't see because the email always existed. And then, last but not least, it showed me the this message, which was, it was successful. With that said, I will conclude this video and thank you for watching for any and all additional uh, help with your web projects. Please check out Mark with codewithmark.com. Once again, the website is codewithmark.com. If you need any consulting help with your projects, anything related to the website world or web application or even mobile application, uh, give me a call or rather contact me and uh, we can see what we can do. All right, guys, I will see you in the next project. Yep. And also speaking of another project, if you guys have any suggestion that you need help with, different projects that you're working on that you think might be helpful for me to help you out or create a video for you, just reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to do so. And then also, it does help for you to like the the video or subscribe to the channel so that way I know you guys are totally digging this and you want to see more from me because you like it and it was helpful to you. So I will leave it at that and I will see you guys in the next project video.